Yeah. Meeting of the Greater Lafourche Court Commission will now come to order. Mr. Thomas B., will you leave us in the Pledge of Allegiance, sir? A Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Mr. Collier, would you give us roll call, please? Yes, sir. C. David Chucky <laughs> Jeremy. Here. C. B. Tom P. Here. C. C. Jamie Lafon. Here. C. D. Rodney Gisclair. Here. C. D. Reggie Lede. Here. C. F. Ted Savoy. Here. C. G. John Bellison. Here. C. H. Mike Calle. Here. C. I. Chris Calle. Here. We have a quorum, Mr. President. I tell you, Mr. Calle. Next, we have approved minutes for October 9, 2024 meeting. Move. I move. Move by Mr. John Mellison, second. second by my colleague. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All approved. Motion passed. Next, we have executive director support. Mr. Chasson. Thank you, Mr. President. First is our northern expansion. Northern expansion slip D bulkhead, GIS engineering. Okay, the contractor on this project is Dynamic Group. They are starting to get some traction out on the site. They have started moving the dirt around for access uh, purposes, both for their vehicles and in order to drive the steel sheet piles. And as you can see, there's test pile program as well on the way. Should be through in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Any questions? Thank you, John. Thank you. All right, airport projects. First is aircraft operations, Davy. Aircraft operations for last month with 1,754 uh, personnel, 11,311, and vehicle count was 21,156 vehicles. All right, any questions? Okay, airport connector road and bridge, PCOLN Associates. Hey, Ben. Morning. Sea uh, level construction is the contractor. They're currently working on welding the uh, lift span grading uh, down. That should take them about another month or so. Uh, they're also working on uh, some of the electrical, pulling electrical wiring for the bridge and inside the control house, wiring up the street lights as well. The asphalt uh, paving is complete on all the highways. Okay. Uh, concrete drives and asphalt driveways are also uh, complete as well. Okay. Any questions? Thank you, Ben. All right. FBO Terminal, GIS Engineering. Okay, Byron Talbot is the contractor on this project. They have mobilized to the site. They've uh, driven all the piles, the timber piles that will hold the building up, so they're just going to be getting ready to form up now, board a slab. Okay. Any questions? All right, the fuel system rehabilitation. Shoot, that's us too. Okay, the fuel tanks should be coming in like the first week of December. Uh, so we're going to have them come in and, and put it up. They might have one valve that's still on back arc, but we'll get everything ready so that uh, when everything's here, they can hook it up. So Any questions? We're still hoping by the before the end of the year, it should all be done. All right. Okay. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you, John. All right. Other projects. Hurricane Ida repair projects. Breakwater repairs. Angelette Design. Rigid Constructors is the contractor for this one. They're currently getting materials ready and should be on site at the end of the month to start. Any questions? All right. Fouchon Beach project. For this one, we are developing plans and specs to rebid this project, and we should be ready to meet with the port next week to review estimates, construction options, and timelines. Okay. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. All right, flotation canal and front commercial marina dredge. So Coastal Dredging uh, Company is the contract on this project. Uh, they finished up dredging in, uh, in flotation um, in the front marina, they're currently working on dredging in, in uh, Flotation Canal right near Slip D. Um, they're trying to dredge the top cut because they know there are shells. There's a shell mm -hmm. layer down at the bottom, so they're dredging the top right now. Once all that is done, then they'll hit. Um, so it's like from a minus 20 to a minus 27. There's a shell layer, and they'll go ahead and dredge that at that time, at the end. 
that would complete their project once they they do that, or they got to go back to the front of Flotation Canal. No, that that's no, they did that already. They did really? that all right. Everything. All right. Well, that's good news. Glad to hear that. Yeah, and they still have about two hundred thousand yards to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good good to go. a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Any questions? All right. Thank you. All right. The airport hangar replacement, GIS engineering. Okay, on this project, the contractor for town builders he is still working with his subs to design the front aircraft door. It's 16 foot high and 80 foot wide, actually 70 foot wide, um, and how to make it fit in the building. So hopefully we'll get that done pretty soon. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you, so. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Mr. President, I wanted to uh, mention that at the AAPA annual conference in Boston um, just a few weeks ago, we did receive an award, the Great Lafourche Port Commission, uh, for a Lighthouse Award from AAPA for excellence in environmental practices for the small port category. So I want to tell them thank you and really thank you to, to, to you all for working with us on the on the project and wanting to move forward this environmental project at the Coastal Wetlands Park. Obviously, we have more work to do over there, but we have been recognized for the environmental work that we've done thus far on the Coastal Wetlands Park. That's good. And also want to send to you congratulations on being in your position at the AAPA for now being president. Chair, chairman, chairman, of, chairman, of, chairman of the board for AAPA. Congratulations. I, I, I will say I've been here for 24 years, and that is a huge accomplishment that predecessors could not do, and that you accomplished that you did. So I Thank want you. to say we, the board is extremely proud of you, the commission, and everything for what you did. So thank, I, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, you, anybody wanted to say something before I? Well, okay, I just want to recognize for our viewing audience that Mr. Chasson will be making decisions with the new Trump administration <laughs> to give you an idea how big a position this is on how America rolls forward on ports. Yeah, so I, I, I appreciate that. Um, and I appreciate my peers at the, you know, other port directors from around the country in uh, the Western Hemisphere, in, in fact, um, in you know, voting me to be the, the next chairman of American Association of Port Authorities. Um, that'll be a two year stint, so I'll be working on that for two years. But I, I think it, you know, I wouldn't be able to, to do that if I didn't have the support of, of the board. Uh, so re I really appreciate the board um, allowing me to, to do that and, and take those leadership roles on numerous boards that I serve on many chairmanships that I, that I hold, uh, but I think, um, and I think y'all see it, it, it's important for us to be involved and have a voice and continue to speak up for our port, for our community uh, on a local, state, and national uh, level, um, because everything we do is, is important and, and um, we wanna continue to enhance the capabilities of our ports and the maritime industry um, for for our country, but in particular for ourselves uh, here here in our community. So, uh, thank you for that. The other thing I, I couldn't do because it does take some time, right, away from the office. Um, without a staff like we have, we couldn't do that either. So, I want to thank the staff for all the hard work that that y'all put in, filling in for me in periods of time for doing presentations or tours or what have you. Um, we're all a team, and we appreciate uh, all the support. I appreciate all the support here, so thank you. And all the right, exposure, you congratulations. Excuse me. The exposure we get can only help our board, so it's a good thing all Absolutely. the way around. Yeah. Thank you. Again, yeah, yeah. congratulations, Mr. Chasson, with something well deserved. Thank you. Right. Any public comment? All right. Next, we have committee the meetings. We go into executive committee. Manny Mazar, Chucky Sherman, Chairman Rodney Just Claire, Senior. Jimmy LaFone, Tom P. First, we have consider approving the Odyssey Marine Amendment of Mooring Dolphin Lease. All right, Odyssey Marine um, has their lease for Mooring Dolphins 46, 47, and 48 is coming up at the end of the year. They're requesting to extend that lease 
uh, for three more years until December 31st of 2027. All right, in a motion. So, Mr. Rodney, just could I have a second by Mr. Tom Pete? Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? <laughs> motion passed. Let's consider approving the request from HNA Seafood for site GLF 106. So HNA Seafood is, is feeling the pinch from a, um, a struggling um, shrimp market, and their request is for us to, to help them uh, on their rent, um, just as we did uh, after COVID and the downturn in the oil industry uh, several years ago. Um, we're going to do basically the same thing for HNA Seafood, if y'all so approve, is basically a three-month uh, rental abatement that we then would spread the rest of that that time over the 12 months reducing their rent from monthly from six thousand sixty four dollars and thirty cents to four thousand five hundred forty eight dollars and twenty three cents it would also add 90 days to their termination notice from 90 to 180 days as well as add 90 days to the end of the lease term now this would be a motion to approve if y'all so see fit to approve um pending approval from ll &E, which is a landowner that we work with here okay any questions all right need a motion move on mr ted sawas second by mr reggie Dick. any discussion any public comment all in favor aye, aye. aye. all opposed <clears throat> motion pass next we have considered declaring that the items of surplus are no longer needed for public purpose and ready for advertised sale. All right, we have two items um, that are coming offline, a 2012 Chevrolet Tahoe with about 258,000 miles on it and a 1999 Generac 100 kW diesel generator as well. Recommendation to approve this list. All right, need a motion. Moved by Mr. Jim LaFont, seconded by Mr. Ted Harwell. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Next, we're getting out of executive committee, going to permits and waterway committees. Members are Rodney Jusclair, Chairman, Tom Pete, Ted Savoy, Chucky Sherman. Mr. Jusclair, your turn. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we'll review the uh, permits that are in front of the board uh, from Chevron Environmental Management Company. And this project consists of piling removal in Lake Rakasi. And the second one is from Texas Petroleum Investment Company. It's an after-the-fact application for EUE, EUA 24-021 in situ burn was done in response to a leak in a six-inch flow line that resulted, that released approximately 1,600 gallons of oil onto a marsh. The well was shut in, a clamp was installed, and absorbent and booms were placed around the leak area. And that, Mr. President, concludes the Permits and Waterways Report. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Ritt. Just clear. Next, we're getting out of Permits and Waterways, going to Construction and Development Committee. Members are Chris Colley, Chairman, Mike Colley, Jim LaFont, and Chucky Sherry. Mr. Colley, you're up. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. President. First, we'll start with consider approving substantial completion certificate from Huey P. Stockstill for the airport road bridge leveling. All right. So this was a quick project to uh, level out the airport uh, bridge road area uh, recommendation to approve. All right, move. Any motion. move by Mr. Chris Colley, second by Mike Colley. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Next, consider approving the change order number nine from sea level construction for the airport connector road and bridge project. All right, this is a change order for $12,233.34 for the safety gates that had to be put out at the road. All right, need a motion. Move. Move by Mr. Chris Colley, second by Mr. Reggie Day. Any discussion? <clears throat> Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion pass. And next we'll consider approving the LADOTD sponsorship agreement for the airport fuel system rehabilitation project. All right, this is for the grant from LADOTD Aviation for $220,000 for that project. Recommendation to approve. All right. Need a motion. Move. Move, Move by Mr. Chris Colley, seconded by Mr. Rodney Jusclair. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Mr. President, this concludes the Construction Development Committee report.
Thank you, Mr. Cawley. Next, we're going into the Finance Committee. Members are John Ellison, Jr., Chairman, Chris Cawley, Reggie Legay, and Chucky Sherman. Ms. Mr. Ellison, All your right. turn. Good morning, and thank you, Mr. President. Close it up. We'll begin by consider approving payment of the October 2024 invoices and recognizing those over $25,000. We'll begin with item one, <clears throat> Dynamic Group LLC, $3,300,093.72. That's for Slip D Bulkhead. Item two, GIS Engineering, $491,015.14. And that's for Port Fouchon Marsh Creation, Fouchon Island Feed Study, Slip D Bulkhead, Airport Terminal Building, Bell Pass Channel Deepening, and General Consulting and Engineering. Item three, Sea Level Construction, $482,143.56. And that's for the Airport Connector Road and Bridge Project. Item four, Coastal Dredging Company Incorporated, $217,505.51, and that is for the dredging of the Flotation Canal Front Commercial Marina. Item five, Traveler's Insurance, $186,635 even, and that is for insurance renewals. Item six, USI Southwest, $175,140.92, and that's also for insurance renewals. Item seven, Angelette Design, LLC, $119,781.74. And that's for the Biolofushan Flotation Canal Bulkhead, the Fouchon Beach Maintenance, Restoration, and Protection Project, and the Fouchon Island Marsh Creation Permit. Item eight, SHI International Corporation, $71,596.80. And that's for our priority five renewal of 2025. Item nine, PCO and Associates, $65,668.95. That's for the Airport Connector Road and Bridge Project, Slip C Monitoring Report, Dredging of the Flotation Canal and Front Commercial Marina, and the Minor Sheremy Road and Mitigation Bank Permit. Item 10, Nickel State University, $30,000 the cooperative endeavor agreement between the port and the university. You want me to uh, explain real quick what that is? I would appreciate that. Yeah, and if so you can explain on number eight a little bit to the International Corp Priority okay. Five Renewal, I'd appreciate that. The, on the Nickel State University cooperative endeavor agreement is, um, we're working with the with Nichols on the camp that's in, in uh, the, the research camp that they have in, in the and port. Sure. Um, and we're, we're working with them on that. We'll have access for utilization once it's fully uh, completed, the repairs are completed from Hurricane Ida. Um, so that's what that cooperative and debt agreement is and the funding that we're giving them. Priority five renewal is our uh, command and control system that Harbor Police uses Correct. and that we use. That's that's the, that's the renewal. Item 11, Sail Plan Marine, I'm sorry, Sail Plan Maritime Incorporated, $30,000 even, and that's for emissions monitoring capability and air quality report. Item 12, Grand Isle Shipyard, $28,219.27. That's for contract labor for the FBO, along with limestone for the flotation canal shoulder. Item 13, Huey P. Stocksdale, LLC, $25,911.25. And that's for the airport road slab leveling. These expenditures, along with our others, brings us to a grand total of $6,329,740.40. And Mr. Colley, if I made no mistakes, I'd like to make a motion we approve these. Perfectly done, Mr. Bell, so I'm happy to second. All right. And I got a motion by Mr. John Nellison, second by Mr. Colley. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Next, we have consider approving the October 2024 unaudited financial statements as discussed in Monday night's committee meeting. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion we accept these. All right, I got a motion by Mr. John Nelson, got a second by Mr. Chris Colley. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. And last, we have consider approving out of state travel and training requests. 
First, we have John Croce, Director of IT, attending the Maritime Cybersecurity Summit in Houston, Texas, November 18th through the 22nd. We also have Brooke Angelet, Harbor Police Sergeant, attending the Tactical Leadership Course in Alabama, January 5th through the 6th. We have Bryce Otan, General Counsel, along with Thad Angelos, Director of Grants and Communication, attending the American Association of Port Authorities Power Summit and Expo in Florida, January 20th through the 23rd. And last, we have Corporal Scott Bynum, Homeland Security Specialist, along with John Crochet, Director of IT, attending the Engage Central Square User Conference in Florida, April 27th through the 30th. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion we accept these out-of-state travel and training requests. All right, I got a motion by Mr. John Mellison, second by Mr. Rodney Giscard. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed, motion passed. Mr. President, this concludes the Finance Committee report. All right, thank you, Mr. Mellison. Next, we have any other business? All right, any public comment? All right, look, I'd like to welcome Mr. Matthew Sheremy here. He is one of our former commissioners, Perry Giscolaire's grandson. So it's really proud and honored to have him come to one of our meetings. Welcome, Matthew. We're glad you're here. Thanks for coming. And Any other public comment? And also welcome Mr. Newly elected oh, Chad true. Colley. Yeah, congrats. 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 Come tell us hello, Chad. 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 Yeah, that camouflage hat you got. Chad, that happens. Trust yeah. didn't call you a trust yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you want to be forgotten. Yeah. yeah. All right, we need to right. adjourn the meeting, fellas. <laughs> ready? Any more public comment? No. I'm going to make oh. one. Oh, David Mr. Bruce, Bruce I'll come. No, I'll leave, bro. I'll make a comment just, I guess apparently word does get out quickly, but uh, you know, the work boat show is going in, on in New Orleans, and tomorrow we actually have a group of international visitors from different countries coming with the uh, U.S. Customs Service. I'll do a presentation for them, and they're going to actually visit a couple of our facilities in port. So we have people from all over the world still interested in what we do. No. Okay. Good deal. Well, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Good. Good. Any other public comment? All right. I move that we adjourn, Mr. President. I got a motion by Mr. Jim Lafone. I got a second by Mr. Thomas Petrie. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Look, everyone, Thanksgiving's come around. Y'all have yourselves a good, nice, happy Thanksgiving. For a few of y'all, happy birthday. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> enjoy your meals and y'all have it. Be safe out there and have a good Thanksgiving for everyone. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>